Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday to you, happy Friday. Now you know if I'm wearing layers and I got a hat on, that means it is freezing cold here. <laughs> you know, I grew up in Canada. I cannot believe that my autoimmune has made me so like sensitive to cold, but I am freezing here, folks. I'm sure it's only like seven or eight degrees, maybe it's less even, but it feels to me like below zero, it's so cold. And every time the wind whips up, I'm like, ah, it's cold. Um, but I'm all toasty in my hat and I'm wearing like long sleeve shirts with the sleeves rolled up and a cardigan and another t-shirt underneath. I'm layered up folks. I don't have a lot of warm clothes here. As you know, I came from the Holy Land. So what I'm, I bought a couple of quick sweatshirts the first day and I just keep washing them. I do a ton of laundry. here. I do a ton of laundry. Thankfully it's in the house. So it's real easy. I'm sure you all noticed that I came home really late last night after 11 or at 11. Um, my mom ended up back in the hospital. That's why I'm looking a little tired today. So it was just an unfortunate thing. It was a little glitch. It wasn't as serious as what happened before. But long story short is she has temporarily lost use of her whole arm. So she cannot move her fingers. She can't do anything. And it's the hand she uses to do everything with. It's her dominant hand. So it's her right hand. So uh, it makes, she's already unsteady. And she's using a walker and now she can't use the walker because she can't use her right hand at all. So uh, we don't know what happened exactly. You know, is it a small TIA or stroke or did she fall and she doesn't remember? She says she didn't fall, but she has injured or torn um, muscles or not muscles, tissue, they said, in her shoulder. But there's some other injuries there, too, that they don't really understand. It's 1 o'clock. And there's our man, as always. So they don't know what happened. Like, did she have a small TIA and fell and hurt herself? Did she fall? Did it just happen in a freak way overnight? They say that never happens. They think she that her hand's all swollen, and they think that she tried to brace herself for a fall and hurt herself very badly. And it actually tore. So now we're going to have to go see a specialist to see if she needs surgery to fix it. I'm not kidding. So this is why your girl didn't get home till after like till 11 o'clock last night. I was at the hospital yet again all day. And my poor mama, she spent all day at the hospital yesterday. And they finally figured out that it's all torn and that they need an orthopedic surgeon to take a look at it and to decide if it's worth repairing. Well, they have to repair it. It's her dominant hand. So we're not going to have a choice. So your girl is, we were supposed to have an appointment today to determine if I can go home after the weekend. Yeah, that now we have to postpone because I need to go to that appointment to figure out whether or not she needs surgery, which it looks like she does, when they would do that surgery, and then I can't leave her if she can't walk. Because without the walker, she can't walk, and she can't use the walker because her right hand's not working. So I have yet another problem to solve. <sighs> so my doctor says, look, I can't be here in the cold and not having my own test done. So I have to either put in a provisional plan for my mom, go back to New York for a few days, take care of some tests, and then come back, or we have to figure out something. So today is a thinking day. I was going to go down to see my mom, but I actually woke up with a sore throat. And I was like, oh, I'm probably just, it's allergies. You know, just like my, my bestie's always on the phone, she's not like super good about dusting and stuff. So, and I have allergies. So I was like, oh, it's probably just allergies. But two hours later, it didn't go away. And I have been spending a lot of time at the hospital. And it's full of germy germs. I'm telling you. Pat Sweetie, you'll understand what I mean. And so will Heavenly Imaginings. Hospitals are full of germs. And yes, I use hand sanitizer every time. I, I, I'm telling you, my nail polish, if I could show you, my nail polish is getting worn down by the hand sanitizer. Like I've lost all the gloss coating on my nails from how much hand sanitizer I'm using and how many times I'm washing my hands. But really, it's the hand sanitizer that's taking it off. So it's not like I'm not hand sanitizing. Oh no, oh no, I'm hand sanitizing. But I may have picked something up and my mom cannot afford to get sick. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I should not go there today. So we're waiting to see if it goes away or not. In the meantime, I have a bunch of things I have to look after for her. So that's what I've been doing. I also checked in with Miss Sabrina because this obviously puts a glitch in No Spend November, right? Because I did order everything before today, the first and had them shipped to New York. And now I'm not going to be there. So I texted Miss Sabrina and I said, girl, what do we do about No Spend November? All my supplies are in New York. If I can't go home, go there for a week, 
I have to buy something and it's November 1st. And she says, look, these are very special circumstances. I know you're not going to run out and buy 25 paper pads. First of all, nobody's buying 25 paper pads at $25 a paper pad here in Canada. So that, we had a good laugh over that. And it's true. Like, you know, if there was a Tuesday morning right here, well, you know, it's important that she would say, I know I can trust you. You won't go buy extras. Of course I won't. But here in Canada, at $25.99 a paper pad, she knows I'm not going buying anything extra. So she, we had a good chuckle, because it's true. And the prices here are so insanely high that I will not be buying anything extra. So she's like, look, Leash, everybody understands. It's not an issue. Um, and thank you for being so truthful. Thank you for contacting me. But no, it's fine. You're fine. Um, I've already done the cards for this week. If you all remember, I did haul, I did haul a Christmas in the Country by Prima when I was in the Holy Land. So... I had a paper pad. It's not a big one. It's a, not the A9, but it was enough. To, I made cards, and I, anyway, I, and I had some ephemera from that, so that was good. So I'm good for this week. It's just if I'm going to be here another week, I'm going to need to get some supplies because I guess I'm going <laughs> to, I'll have to use a coupon, folks, and buy one of those $25 paper pads at half price. It's going to blow my mind to spend that kind of money on a paper pad. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, anyway, that's what the plan is. We'll see. And that buys me the time to see because once I get back to New York, I did order everything. So I'm fine. So Sabrina's been terrific and really supportive. And she says, look, you just do what you got to do. We all understand. And we know you won't buy anything extra. And of course I won't. Um, just like she gave me the exemptions for the prize pack. So I really appreciate it, Sabrina. I really do. Thank you all of you for being very understanding. I'm actually a huge fan of this No Spend November. I think that right before Christmas, people feel a lot of pressure financially. And I think Sabrina's collab was really smartly designed and chosen because of that. So this way, you know, people don't feel pressure to go and buy things when they're trying to buy things for their family. Right? So I love it. So yeah, I'm definitely adhering to it as much as I can. And that is it for me, folks. I have a bunch of things I have to take care of for my mom. I'm hoping to get in a little crafting today. Um, I'm trying to finish up some stuff for different people, but it's taking me even longer. You know, I'll know I'm a slow maker, but it's taking me even longer. Why? Because I don't have very much time. So if I only have an hour here or 20 minutes here, um, I'm doing the best I can to finish stuff up. People's challenges are going to be late, and I apologize. I'll get them to you as soon as I can because I really want to support you. And I, I don't care about a contest. I just care about supporting you. So if they arrive late, don't, don't you sweat it. I just want you to know that I was saying yay for you. And guys, I had a rough day yesterday. And guess what happened? I, mean, I can't believe it. So I deliberately did not enter most of Lily's amazing Pastelloween daily giveaways. And that's because I already feel so blessed with Lily. I really do. You know, right when my mama got sick, I didn't have a chance to tell you guys this. But right as she got sick, right as she got sick, and I was rushing back to be there for her, I wanted to send something special to Lisa Made New to create. And I really wanted to send her like a special package. And Lily had just posted all of those amazing Dolce creations. And you all know I love Prima Dolce. So I was like, yippee, yep, yep, yay. And they were stunning, right? And then she was starting to make what became her chunkies, her Halloween chunkies. And I was swooning over them. So I was like, is there any way I could I could get some to send to Lisa? Now, this is a big ask to make of Lily, right? She normally doesn't even sell her stuff. Like, that's almost unheard of. It's the first time I've seen Lily sell her stuff. So I was like, hold up. Now it's her first time selling it. She's almost sold out. You want to buy something, but you want to have her send it to another friend because you're about to rush to Canada to help your mama. Well, you know, Lily, not only did she do it for me, folks, this is how special crafting with Lily is. Do you know what she did? She made Lisa like a vinyl bag. I'm not kidding. It was like Lisa almost died when she opened it. I don't know if you all saw the video, so I'm putting it down below in case you didn't see it. You got to see Lisa's reaction. I'm telling you, Lisa was like, wait, is this a vinyl bag? Is this a Lily created bag? And she went crazy. I mean, who wouldn't go crazy getting a bag like that from Lily, right? Uh -huh. All of us would love a bag like that from Lily. Can you imagine that she did that? And she sent her the most amazing packaging and she sent her extras. I mean, Lily is special people. So yeah, I didn't enter the contest except there, were, there was one day where I was like, I can't help it. I have to enter. I can't help it. Because I watched her videos every day, right? 
and they always like made me smile and I thought Lord Lily's just killing Halloween like everything she made for Halloween was beautiful and everybody loved it and we're all like look at you going a little chunky you know Lily's like Alicia very precise clean beautiful creator but both Lily and Alicia Lovelace generation went a little chunky for Halloween and I loved it they didn't go like Paper Treasury Chunky or Shara Crane Seven Layer Chunky, but they went chunky. And the stuff they created was beautiful. So I was like, Leash, don't answer, because you already own beautiful creations by Lily. I own her first ever. Her first ever. I do. I was so moved when she said that to me. And I own her beautiful record that I study all the time for how to make a rainfall or what they call a waterfall of sequence, because she does it so well. Um, so I have no business entering. I have no business. If someone else needs to own Lily stuff. So anyway, I was like, nope, I just want to support her. That's it. So then I got home last night and Miss Jellybean's like, did you watch Lily's video? I'm like, no, I just got in from the hospital. So I click on it and I'm like, oh, Jellybean won the pocket letter. And I was so happy for Jellybean. I was texting her going, yay, you won the pocket letter. And then Pat Sweeney won. And I was like, yay, Pat. And I was like, it was such a great way to end a difficult hospital day. I was so excited for everybody. And Jellybean's like, you still watching? I'm like, yes, of course, till the end. And then, what does Lily say? Well, you know, Alicia, I know you said don't enter you, but you know, because you didn't want, you wanted other people to win, but fair is fair. And I decided to enter you. And guess what? You won. And I was like, what? Guess what I won, folks? I won those chunkies. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And Lily knows I am dying to make chunkies like this. I am dying to make chunkies like this. Okay, I have to learn how to sew to do it, but I'm going to learn how to sew. And when I get her chunkies, I'm going to study them so that I know how to do it, kind of. I mean, Lily's like Alicia. They just have a way of understanding that judiciousness. I'm all messy, hot blub. I'm not like that. I have to work very hard at being precise. You know, Crafty Michelle's super precise too, right? Like, she'll use like one embellishment or she'll do those little scrabble pieces with one butterfly. Very elegant, very judicious, just like Alicia, just like Lily. But for Halloween, Lily went a little, a little chunky and I fell in love. I always love Lily's projects, but these, and now I'm gonna have them in my hands. Cannot wait to share it with you guys. Cannot wait, so excited. And it made a really rough day better. So Lily texted me after she's like, you saw, I was like, you're sneaky, Lily. Crafting with Lily has a sneaky side, folks. Who knew? She's so sweet that sometimes you forget that like, you know, everyone has multiple facets in their personality. And I was like, there's a little sneaky boo in you. Who knew, Lily? Who knew? But I was really grateful and I told her, you just made a rough day so much better. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to Jelly Bean. You know, guys, throughout this whole sort of saga with my mom, Jelly Bean, who has just recently lost her dad, as you all know, and that was really hard on her, has been really supportive. And that's hard when you've just gone through this yourself. You know, you might think it's easier. It's actually not. It's harder. It's harder because it makes you remember everything. Um, but she's, she's checked in every single day. And last night she was like, okay, are you okay? Like, do you need to talk about this? And I'm like, no, I promise I'm going to be fine. It's a little stressful and a little scary, but I'm going to be okay. Um, but she's been there throughout this whole thing and I just want to say thank you and you know and Sabrina has been really understanding about these circumstances so thank you and Cruz has been checking in also so I feel so blessed and so many of you on here have left me the nicest notes I don't know if I would have been able to get through this so easily without all of you and I said this before I'm going to say it again I am very blessed to have this community and very, very fortunate to have such wonderful people here on this channel. And I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Tree got her, her nice list package. That's really funny that she knew it was from the nice list. I don't know how you figured that out, Tree. I haven't announced anything yet, but you did figure it out. And she got a, a, her bundle of flowers, and I'm really happy about that. Whenever I think of Tree, I think of butterflies because of that Memdex that she sent me, the fluttering one. But this time I decided to gift her something different. I hope that all of you are going to have a wonderful weekend. I hope your Friday brings you creativity and joy and maybe a little peacefulness. And just know I'm thinking about each of you and wishing for you a very happy, healthy, and creative weekend. I'll see you all later today. Bye for now.